alaikum, I'm Abdulaziz from Yellowstone House. Today I'll present to you our two-story house design for our client, Dr. Iyad Attar. We've been working on this design for about two months and here I will conclude the whole work for you divided into stages. Before starting, I would like to remind you of our company's vision and mission. Our agenda for this presentation will start with the overview, the location, requirements, design, BOQ, and timeline, and load. The main requirement was to build the three stories for a VIB of five members with 500 meters squared. The location that was chosen for the land is 500 square meter land in a Slaymania district, which is close to King Abdulaziz University, is Jeddah Hospital and the train station. Here we can see the customer's requirements, which was a lift, a swimming pool, three bedroom, a gym, a storage, a laundry room, a guard room, and a handmade room. The design stage was divided into four sub-stages, which are the architectural, civil, mechanical, and electrical. The architectural design shows the rooms and how it was divided and how the space was utilized. Here we have the same design for the second floor. And finally, we have the design for the roof floor. The civil design. We start the civil design by choosing the RCC foundations, which shows a columns and how it and its measurements and the water tank and the sewage tank. Here we have the design for the first floor, showing the columns location to compare to each room. We have it also for the second floor, and finally we have the roof floor. We are keen in this stage to not have columns in places that would conflict with our future designs such as electrical and mechanical. The mechanical design. One of the most important mechanical design is plumbing. Here we can see the pipes connecting the whole building to the water tank and the sewage tank for drainage. Here we have the same pipes connecting to the each toilet. We have the air conditioners. Finally, on the roof, we have the central AC, the heater, and also the air conditioner and the pipes. A study proves that electrical work consumes about 50% of any building's budget. That's why we put a lot of effort and time in our electrical design. Here we can see the lights in each room in the first floor, which was calculated using the space in each room and knowing how much light it would need to be enough to in this room. Here we have the lights in the second floor and finally the lights in the roof floor which was all calculated. Here we can see the CCTV which is considered one of the most important safety appliances. We have two that covers the whole entrance and we also have an extra one on the roof. Here we show the circuit breakers and panels on the first floor. We have also the circuit breakers and panels on the second floor. And in the, fine, uh, the roof floor we have the circuit breakers and the panels and also the solar panels. In order to make our house green, which is eco-friendly and also money saving, here we have the solar panels designed to be on the roof to save energy, money, and environment. We have also the view, which is a space that allows the entrance of sunlight which can be utilized to grow plants and know th we know that plants are the main source of oxygen. Also, this space can be used to grow vegetables and fruits which would save money spent on food expenses. Here we have the gym room designed using the Dilux. And here we have the dining room designed using the dialogues to show the lighting that would be installed. We have some pictures of the devices that was used. The calculation was made to find the ideal circuit breaker for each floor. And here we can see that the best circuit breaker for the lights is 10. And as for the first floor, it was 150, the second floor 75, and the roof floor 45. The bill of quantity is one of the most important aspects in the planning stage, since it shows the budget needed 
and the material it can make you imagine final product after knowing its ingredients here we can see the civil POQ and the total cost is about 377,000 and here we can see the mechanical POQ and the total cost is about 63,000 finally we have the electrical POQ and the total cost is about 142,000 here we have the whole estimation of the building's price which about half a million finally we have the project timeline divided into sub stages and the whole project dur duration is, is estimated to be 126 days and we have also the gantt chart which shows which tasks can be done parallel with other tasks and which tasks need to be done before starting the, the next task in conclusion, this design project was a long journey in which there was a lot of meetings whether with the client or with the team to finally come out with a complete design which is eco-friendly, sustainable and suits our client's needs.